Have you figured out how to set up your new Fiverr business profile yet? Did you even know that business profiles were a thing on Fiverr yet? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Fiverr's new business profile feature and specifically talking about how I think you might wanna set it up to maximize your chances of getting bigger business clients to hire you on Fiverr. First things first, I'm gonna show you how to find your business profile from your Fiverr seller page. So the first thing you gotta do is log into Fiverr, go to your profile page, and under your picture, you'll notice two new profile preview buttons. The first lets you preview your regular Fiverr profile, and the second lets you preview your new Fiverr business profile. At first glance, you might think it looks pretty similar to your regular Fiverr profile, and you're right, it is very similar. The main differences and what Fiverr says the goal of these new Fiverr business profiles are is to highlight the person behind the gigs more so than the gigs themselves. Honestly, it looks like this is just a big rebrand to make the platform more appealing to potential new business clients that wanna start hiring freelancers through Fiverr for their own businesses. The only real catch here with Fiverr business profiles is that according to Fiverr, in order for your business profile to be seen, it needs to be selected by Fiverr and included in their new Fiverr business catalog. Basically, all of our profiles will be evaluated and based on how well we've done on past or recent orders, we can either be chosen for inclusion or not in the business catalog. Now, personally, I don't know how this will compete with things like Fiverr Pro or Fiverr's Choice, which are already two different catalogs that freelancers can sell within. But basically, my hunch is that as freelancers, it's probably in our best interest to do everything we can to make sure we have a good chance of being selected and included in Fiverr's business catalog. Because honestly, it's pretty obvious that repeat business is both good for our business and Fiverr's business and business clients are probably a lot more likely to place repeat orders than just run-of-the-mill individuals shopping on Fiverr. That's why I think we should all be gunning to be included in the Fiverr business catalog. So how should you set up your Fiverr business catalog? Well, the first thing you're gonna see when you access or preview your new catalog is that we now have the ability to add a big banner image at the top of the page. That's kind of the main big difference that I noticed the first time I opened the page. So my goal here with this new banner that we can use is I'm gonna hire a designer to design it and I think the goal should be to make it look as clean as possible, showcase you, but also take advantage of some of the space to actually highlight some of your core competencies or ways that you can offer value to your business clients. This is at the top of the page and it's probably the first thing it is the first thing everyone's gonna see when they're visiting your business profile. So I'm going to, I think everyone should take the approach to leverage this as best you can to make sure that that person visiting doesn't click off after just seeing your banner image and the top bit of text. So whether you're gonna hire someone out to do this or you know, personally, I might give it a shot with Canva even, put a nice clean headshot of myself on a cool looking background and maybe just list the top three services or top three ways I can offer value to my clients somewhere on that banner, similar to some of the stuff I do for my gig images. I think that's probably gonna be the optimal approach. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is your profile one-liner and about section. And again, using common sense here, this stuff is all really close to the top of the page. So you wanna make sure that the way you craft this does a good job right away of clearly showing your potential buyers what you can help with and why they might want to hire you. So for the profile one-liner, here's mine as an example of something that I'd recommend going with. Mine says that I'm a sales and marketing professional looking to help you sell better. That first part, sales and marketing professional, that's what I am, that's what it's describing to people. Helping people sell better, that second portion of my one-liner, is the way that I can offer value to my clients. Spend some time on this. It's tough to write a solid one-liner that can be descriptive, but try to identify who you are, like what your proficiencies are, and how you can offer them value. I think that would make a rock solid one-liner regardless what industry you're in. And for the about me section, I would just elaborate on that one-liner. For that who you are portion, maybe expand on it. Talk about some of your past work experience, the types of projects you've completed in the past, maybe notable clients, or specific things that you're proud of about that are related to your past experience. And for that how you bring value portion of your one 
one-liner, try to expand that to specifically add a couple lines of text that would be general enough that any business client reading this would understand one way or another that you can offer value to their business, either to save them time, help them make more money, or resolve some painful parts of their business that they're currently going through. The next portion of your Fiverr business profile that you want to take a look at is the Fiverr Learn section, certifications and education. So as always, Fiverr gives us space on our profile to list courses we've taken, schools we've graduated from and certifications that we have. If you have anything to show here, you definitely should. You know, if you watch this channel, you know that I think you should take any opportunity to differentiate yourself from the competition on your profile page. And if you don't have anything to put here, this is something you might want to earmark and maybe aspire to taking some courses or getting some certifications that you can show off here. Some buyers look at this section for validation that a particular seller is better than another. Some don't. I'm personally not someone who does that, but a lot of people do. By having something to showcase here, whether it's a certification, a course, education, whatever, you give yourself the best chance of appealing to the widest possible audience, which could be a really good thing for your Fiverr business. So Fiverr Learn is obviously a great place to start. That's Fiverr's baked in learning platform. Courses are pretty cheap on there. Udemy is another great option. Skillshare, Skillshare is a platform that I promote in all of my videos. I have a link in the description of this video where you can sign up for a free trial if you'd like to give that one a shot. And of course, you know, formal education or even just, you know, work related certifications. You can, you can add all that stuff here to help illustrate and paint a better picture of who you are and where your experiences lie. And that pretty much sums it up. The Fiverr business profile isn't that different from our main profile. However, Fiverr is definitely making a push to attract more business clients to the platform. So if you're serious about your Fiverr business, you really want to spend some time setting up your business profile so it can appeal to the exact audience you want to appeal to so you have the highest chance of getting them to hire you. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and also follow me on Twitter if you'd like to check me out there. But until next time, cheers.